Hey folks, my name is Jürgen, aka Nerd and Proud of It, and Destiny has brought you to my channel today to have a look at an alpha buy of mine. I bought a couple of alpha cards, folks. I did it. I put my money where my mouth is. Literally, I believe in alpha, and I don't think I have enough alpha cards. And I know exactly that I probably won't be able to get very far with my alpha collection, but I still want to have some, just some. Um, let's start out with this beautiful shadow here, folks. I focused on buying mint alpha cards, uh, if possible, and um, I found a couple. And I have to say, uh, yeah, they are really, really, really <laughs> good looking. Uh, can't complain about this uh, card at all. Uh, you saw that one corner on the top right just there. That's about it. But even that is looking okay. I wouldn't call it mint, but near mint is uh, is a fine description in my opinion. Uh, very iconic card. Um, I I really wanted to have one in alpha because I think it's a, it's a cool card that uh, yeah even has some play value. So I I got that one. Same goes for uh, not the play value, but um, the iconic card. False orders. Look at that beautiful beautiful card the artwork pops even though it's red on red but uh yeah it's just mint and perfect and nice and i'm really happy i found these it's so difficult to find some good alpha cards um i told the story about me looking for a, a playset of lord of atlantis yeah that looks like a little mm, little bit of dust i think let's see yeah uh, that's probably dust that's okay. Uh, no, I was looking for um, a couple of Lord of Atlantis copies. Uh, it's still there. <laughs> it annoys me. It has to go away. Go away. Go away, dust. Yeah, I can't see it anymore. But when I... Yeah, yeah, now it's good. <laughs> so I'm happy. I, uh, my OCD kicks in if I see dust on my alpha cards. No. Folks, I uh, was looking for a couple of uh, Lord of Atlantis Alpha, but uh, yeah, that ship has sailed. I, I won't be able to achieve or get any more rares probably unless uh, there's one uh, that's coming across my way for a reasonable price. Yeah, look at that Dwarven Warrior. I like Dwarves. I even had a Dwarf deck when Fallen Empires came out. You actually got a couple of Dwarves, but my favorite artwork next to the lord of atlantis a lot of atlantis lord of atlantis is uh, the dwarven demolition team i really love that card um dwarven warriors very very nice condition as well so uh, i focused uh, because i couldn't get uh, a lot of rares or i couldn't get the the lord of atlantis rares a lot of rares yeah where do you get a lot of alpha rares right um I thought I at least get some more commons because I want to have some extra alphas and you know I have six alpha cards and with this buy I actually more than doubled my alpha collection. Very very beautiful um, stone rain here. Most of the cards are red. I don't know maybe it was a was a collector that uh, focused on reds, uh, red cards. It's very off-centered but it's mint um, and I'm good with it and it's alpha and it's real so uh, yeah. All good, uh, won't grade uh, uh, high if I would ever grade these cards, but uh, yeah, I don't mind. I just want to have some, like I said. Siren's Call, personal personal favorite of mine because of the artwork. It's uncommon, so um, yeah, I didn't have any uncommon alphas, so that's my first uncommon alpha, and it's mint as well. Uh, near mint let's call it near mint uh, that one is actually centered well and i think um, that one would even grade well but uh, yeah again just for me to have one love the artwork the the, the bright colors and uh, yeah uh, in general i think uh, these cards are pretty pretty iconic every alpha card is iconic didn't have any white cards yet and i picked up two circle of protection white because they were under 50 bucks and even if an alpha card for me is a little bit um, light plate or um, yeah, how do you want to call it? Maybe good. I think it's still alpha and everything under 50, 40 bucks is, uh, I, these were 35 a piece. So yeah, I think um, even for a stupid, stupid circle of protection, I am happy I got it. And I didn't have a white alpha card little bit of this one is not mint a little bit of surface wear um, and a little rough around the edges but 
and accordingly the price uh, was a little lower as well. And now I got an alpha card from every color and every rarity, not not in uh, in uh, an accumulative way uh, because I don't have like white uncommons, but in general, I have uh, one of every color. Second circle of protection here. I just hit buy on both because yeah, I uh, for that price I thought ha, ah, I just order the second one too. Also uh, a little wear, but um, well, all in all. Not too bad. I'm glad I picked it up. Yeah. Yeah, this one has some more scratches. Yeah, you can see it. Scratch to the M there from Magic. But it's Alpha, folks. It's Alpha. And I don't say by every beat Alpha card there is. But if it looks reasonable and if the price is okay, I definitely would advise you if you have the funds to get them. Another uncommon, folks. The Obsidian Golem, uh, back in the day that wasn't even such a bad card because you could put it in every deck and it was quite strong. 4-6 uh, six for 6 mana is, uh, is a decent uh, strength, at least back in the day it was. Also uh, light plate, uh, but uncommon and my first Antiquities card uh, of Alpha. So if I ever get any other Alpha cards, I at least have one of every color and um, yeah, I, I don't have an alpha land yet, uh, I think. No, I do. Do I have an island? No, I don't think I have a land yet, but uh, okay, that's that's one to put on the list. Um, folks, let me know what you think. Are you buying any alpha or do you think, yeah, yeah stupid, stupid uh, to pay a lot of money for old common cards? For me, it's very, it's just a nostalgia. I just wanted to have a couple of extra cards. And like I said, the Siren's Call here is, uh, for me, that's awesome. Those are going to be put in the binder together with the other six alpha cards. And like I said, I'm more than doubled because these are two, four, six, eight. And I had six. Now I have 14 alpha cards. Way on my, or uh, yeah, totally on my way to, uh, to start an alpha collection there, right? <laughs> um... I have the feeling, I have the feeling this, uh, this, nah, I won't call it buy out, but focus on older cards is still happening. I see still uh, older cards disappear from the market. I definitely see sales and uh, especially with alpha and antiquities. And that's uh, interesting to see. Arabian Nights, not so much at the moment, but uh, antiquities uh, specifically. Um, try to pick up uh, some antiquities cards as well, but my package hasn't arrived yet, unfortunately. But uh, we're looking into that, so I hope I can present uh, my antiquities buy to you soon. For now, let me know in the comments what you think about this alpha buy, and again, if you think I'm stupid for paying a lot of money for alpha commons and uncommons, or if you think, like, yeah, get these iconic cards while you can. I need to catch my breath. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish you a very, very nice rest of the week and a very nice rest of the day. I hope to talk to you soon, folks. Stay healthy, stay frosty. And thanks for listening. Bye, folks.